Hi there, how's it going? I just wanted to um, talk about a project I'm working on right now. It's a large stained glass mosaic and it's going to be layered. So I have finished the first layer and grouted it. And I wanna show what happens when you have something like this. I'm at the stage where I have wiped it off and it's looking nice and sparkly, but there's still quite a bit of grout left. I know stained glass seems like it's the same thickness, but oftentimes I'm using different brands and different types of stained glass. And so there can be even different textures. There can be some differences in the thickness. And um, the only way to get it clean is to uh, do some fine tune cleaning. So I'll show you that and what it looks like. Here's the mosaic. The background has a lot of detail and the main nest that I'm making, the empty nest, has uh, not a lot of detail because this is the area that I'm going to layer glass on top of. So since this is the bottom layer, it's it's pretty simple and there's big blocks and uh, they will be covered. The background, in fact, that part's already grout, grouted and cleaned, but uh, this background part is the part where I want to show you. I take tools, metal tools, and sort of just dig, I call this digging out. Anywhere that it looks like um, the glass needs to be uncovered is where I will be scraping because I want all the glass to show and I don't want the grout to cover it. You could wipe and wipe and you might not wipe it off, but uh, scraping it is the way to go. And then uh, after I scrape for a while, what I'll do is grab my vacuum and vacuum up the crumbs because it does make quite a bit of a mess. In fact, there's a mess on the floor here. I'm going to have to vacuum up when I'm done digging out. Uh, it can take me hours to dig out because you kind of have to go over each area. Sometimes there's even glue you'll have to scrape away. Right here's a piece of glue. It doesn't come off as easily as the grout. I do clean all the glass before I put it down so if there's something on there it's probably glue or grout and that needs to come off before it's done so that's all I wanted to show you today on this one and uh, hopefully be finishing up this week I was stuck on it for quite a while I didn't know how to move forward on it because I wasn't sure how I wanted the nest to be um, uh, my original concept was an empty nest but then with everything that's going on and people stuck at home who should be going out into the world, I wasn't sure if I wanted to change that. As I've been finishing it up, um, I was thinking about putting a fledgling in it or eggs in it or something else. And I just decided, no, it's going to go. It's going to be my original concept. It's going to be an empty nest. Someday we'll, we'll be empty nesters. Who knows when? In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. I just realized you might not be able to see all of what I'm actually scraping out. But it's this sort of thing where there's a slight difference between the heights and the grout gets caught. Covers up, ends up covering up the glass. That is where I am digging out. So it's not a whole lot, but this is what I take the vacuum and the crumbs that I sweep up with the vacuum when I'm done. Hope that shows it a little bit better.